Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm your host, the San Fei, and we are going to make our way Yep, there you go. Now you're panicked, you're weakened. What's left? Uh, when Samson made this deal, we promised you the Dales if you could keep the roads open for our supplies. Too difficult a concept to grasp, I see. Enough with your fumbling. The Red Templars will deal with the Inquisition. Ugh. Great. May as well go looking. Keep your wits about you. The Dales are treacherous. You don't say. <laughs> the guide. So I actually like to go back to Fairbanks. We've had some luck. Oh good, thank you. Del two? Good to see you, your worship. Wow. Ooh, and an August Ram. They also provide nice leather. <gasps> An Australian. Do once. Uh -huh. I love Australians. Okay. I started at the wrong point, didn't I? Okay, I'm just seeing. Alright. Start from one of these. There we go. Olivia. Alright, so there's one off that way, probably one off the other way. I am happy.
Yeah, and I've made effects. All right. Where? Fairbanks. You saved my people. We'd given them up for dead. Perhaps the stories are true. Okay. Four? Who are these free men of the Dales? Most are deserters from the war, tired of fighting and dying for a cause in which they have no stake. But recently, the free men have organized, started attacking anyone and everyone. Their new leaders are driving them to take the Dales for themselves. Mm-hmm. Uh... Nah. Goodbye. I need to be going. Be safe. All is well. I'll at least mark that off. Well, I heard... Inquisitor, you saved Gertrude and the others. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. uh, this is bold of me, but if I could have a moment. What do you need? I'm here. What do you need? This... This is about Fairbanks. There is a rumor that he is of noble blood. Once the war is over, many of us will return to serve our lords, to work our fields, raise their brats. And most of the aristocracy know little of the lives of commoners. They care nothing for us. Fairbanks is different. He is a great man. There is much he could do if he had the power. If the rumor is true, if Fairbanks is noble and we have proof, do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Does Fairbanks know about this rumor? Uh, he doesn't like it. And he won't let me discuss it. Stubborn ass. Okay. Goodbye. I heard it go clink over here. Alright, time to go looking for a room. into a wooden structure even with the memory of fire. Okay, Gertrude made it back over here. Huh. Heard what? I could have sworn I heard it. Unless... <sighs> this is what's up there, isn't it? Nope. 
Damn it. Once again, Dorian has trouble with ladders. <sighs> Inquisitor. Nope, I, no. Uh, I am not going to keep looking for it. Not right now. I've, I've cast my typical net. Good, but I'll always be grateful. Oh, good. Okay. Good day to you, Inquisitor. This rumor about Fairbanks being noble, what do you want me to do about it? Oh, I... I don't mean to impose, but you travel all over the dens, don't you? Perhaps if you found something that could help. I've written everything I know in my journal. You can look at it. Okay. Goodbye. Um, I saw Fairbanks looking at an old gold medallion as I walked past him. It bore the image of some kind of bird in the motto to the sun on blessed wings. The old El Calder has such stories. He even talks about how Fairbanks helped people even before the war. Calder says there's some who thinks Fairbanks is actually of noble blood, not a common girl like he claims. I wonder if that has anything to do with the, me the medallion. I passed her Calder a similar word to make me stop asking. He told me the story of the Lamarck family. Uh, Lord Giraud Lamarck's only daughter fell in love with the Chevalier in the service of Lord Giraud's enemy and ended up with his child. Lord Giraud was furious and turned Bernice out of their home, then had her lover assassinated. Awful! Bernice never returned to her father and fled to the Dales. Her child was stillborn, but Lord Garot eventually regretted what he had done, and on his deathbed left all lands and titles to her and all her offspring. Why would he have done that if he wasn't, if he was certain the child died? Um, I can't stop thinking about what Fairbanks is really the Lamarck baby. Imagine all the good he could do if he was noble and inherited that fortune, but having him reinstated will take proof. After all I've heard of the Council of Heralds, there could be no doubt. Uh, maybe the medallion, but anyone could have a trinket like that. There could be something here in the Dales to help me prove it, but I wouldn't know where to start. Indeed. And obviously getting someone oh, yes. stated in as nobility takes a lot. I'm glad. Um, takes time. Alright. There is another rift here, which I skipped on my way out. Inquisitor. Yep. So I'm going to go deal with that now, before I forget about it. Maybe look into what's ringing up here. Actually, maybe I go do that part first. Good day. Indeed. Nope, let me buy. Don't worry, I'm not hunting you now. Okay. Maybe we don't do it on this side. I see what the game's trying to tell me. And it is saying, please don't go this way. We will make it very difficult. All right. Is this weird? No. Maybe? Oh dear.
Inquisition. Need anything? No, I suppose not. I really wanted that bear. Andraste's light. And candle for Tristan. Light a candle at the shrine. It's not lootable. Darn it. Take out this great bear. This great big bear. I I desperately need your hide. Had some luck. Okay, there's the rib cage. Yes, good. I don't need to actively hunt. Great. Okay. Now let's deal with the rift. And potentially something down there. Huh. All this fresh air is making me lightheaded. Fresh air is supposed to be good for you. Said my inquisitor who is used to the outdoors. Find me seven. How did I miss that one? My 
I say this with, like, complete seriousness? How did I... I'll take some bloodstone. It's interesting how bloodstone looks in this game. Alright. And then I'm gonna go back and see what was underneath there. Here we go. Oops. Nope, I wanted to jump. Oh, that makes me feel better. Okay. Something came in and killed everything. But, twasn't us. Were you there when I came out here earlier? <laughs> Maybe you were. Okay. There's the shard. Where am I even going right now? I apparently need to be going in a this way direction and I'm I'm clearly not. I can pick up the rest of the shards over here. I've created that nice little loop for myself. Rather unintentionally. I, like, I must say, but, you know, it works. And a book, a hunting log. Okay. You. I didn't want to fall all the way down. Another scar for the collection. What the hell? What just Our happened? friends are alive because of you. I've got your back. Okay. I need to be up. Ugh. Last to it. He got what he deserved. Sure he did. Yep, this game, I swear, it's not supposed to be a platformer. Ah, where's the last one? That way. 
Ah, yes, by the statue. Of course. Let's not kill them right now. Okay. You know what? I'm I'm tired of walking at the moment. So I'm gonna fast travel. Easier but not necessarily better. Good day. Yes, I know. I've come back over here to this villa because apparently there was more I'm supposed to take away from here. Let's look around. It's in here. Um, Midwife's Journal. This has been the coldest winter I can remember. Even the river is frozen. No one should be out there, not in this blizzard. So you can imagine my surprise when there was a knock at my gate. A young woman. She's looking for the fair Banks cottage. I go out and say to her, nothing fair about this weather, but yes, you are in the right place. She throws back her cloak, and I see she is heavy, less than two weeks away. Please help. She is almost in tears. I bring her into the house and set her by the fire with some tea and slippers. She is young, not more than 20. Her hands are smooth. And they've not seen a day of work in her life. Her clothes are travel stained, but fine. The cloak must be worth at least 50 royals. Beautiful blue, trimmed with fox fur. Her name is Bernice, but she won't say more. Many girls come here not wanting to say who they are. I understand. Bernice has had the baby, a boy, healthy, full head of hair. She named him Everest. She tried to pay me with a heavy gold locket, a falcon on its face. I asked her what it was. It looks valuable. She says it's her father's, and she doesn't care to have it anymore. Um, I tell her she might not, but her son might one day want to know where he's from. A new year, Bernice should be healthy enough to leave, but it's still cold, and I cannot, and I just cannot turn her out. I will ask her to stay and be my assistant. I have needed help for a while. My fingers are not as nimble as they used to be. Clever girl. She'll make a fine apprentice. Alright, where am I going? The question I ask for all ages. Um, to the far end of this villa. I always forget how much... This way. And here we have an old painting. Lord Guerrero Lamarck. The portrait shows the Lord as he must have looked 40 years ago. He bears a striking resemblance to Fairbanks. Indeed. Hmm. Yep, we're gonna go this way. And up and out. And over and down. Because it's clearly the way that we're supposed to go into Peacewood. What's well, hostile? Huh. Red Templar Behemoth. Alright, you know what? We'll take it out. Guard. 
exactly what I needed it to do. Dear God. I didn't know Varric approved of you killing these guys. Oh, crap. Forgot about these. Alright. Close the rift. Close the rift. Disrupt the rift. Cause some damage. Stun some enemies. Come on, Cassandra. And now we can close it. Maybe? Maybe not. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. And in the meantime, in between time. Take care. Have fun. Happy trails.